Barclays ATP World Tour final champions in 2012, Marcel Granolas and Marc Lopez currently stand fifth in the doubles team race to London. On the cusp of qualification again, the Spaniards will be keen to make a third successive appearance at the scene of what's undoubtedly their greatest triumph so far. Our biggest achievement was to win the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London in 2012, but we also won in Rome that year. All the titles are very important. We've won three titles and we've got to finals as well. What we try to do is give the maximum every time we get on the court. That's our main objective. Masters are massive tournaments and they are the maximum a player can aspire to professionally and winning those makes you really happy. The Spanish pairing have gained a reputation as one of the most entertaining but also most feared teams on the ATP World Tour. A tag earned through graft and teamwork. They sort of play like clay court doubles. That, that Mark Lopez, he has that heavy one-handed back. He's not a big guy, but he can whip that one hand. Granolius gets fired up. He's got a good serve. They're, they've been improving every year. Uh, Mark Lopez is a very crafty guy. A lot of a lot of variety in his game. Uh, Granolius has uh, has the power on the on the right side, and uh, they're also good friends. So they 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 play and they they held their ground in tough moments and you can always feel that they're, they're always uh, they'll be a tough team to beat the longer you have been with a partner the better you know each other and the better the results mark and i have been playing together for two years and it's going very well i hope it continues like that but compromises have to be made granolas is also a successful singles player on tour which affects the team's training regime, playing style and calendar. Obviously, Marcel has two careers, the singles and the doubles, and the priority is the singles. So wherever he decides to play as a singles player, I follow him. And we've been doing it like that since we started. They play sort of singles doubles, and they do it well, and they're one of the top teams in the world. Both of us have a single style of play, so our training is that of a singles player, as that is how we train better and gain most fitness in order to face matches. Just before playing, we may do something specific to doubles, but our training centres mainly on the single style. But they're not the only successful doubles team from Spain. Granolas and Lopez's success two years ago was repeated the following year in London by David Marrero and Fernando Vadasco. The doubles game is enjoying an Iberian renaissance. I think it's just a coincidence. In 2012 it was our debut year and we won, and last year it was their debut and they won. I don't think it happens very often. Normally people play a few Masters until they win. Last year they had an incredible year, and like us in 2012, they had that point of good luck that you need to win big tournaments. Qualification for this year's Barclays ATP World Tour Finals is on the horizon, but the pair have not put undue pressure on themselves. When they're relaxed is when they play best. Our focus is to enjoy and to go on the court with the maximum of enthusiasm, like we did in 2012 and 2013. And I think if we play at our level and we try to enjoy and have a good time, the results have got to come. In the end, the only thing one can demand from oneself is to give the maximum. And if we're going to do this with each point we play, and give our best, I'm confident we will get results. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, rappers return and we catch up with the all-conquering Spaniard. And we have a special report from the Shanghai Rolex Masters, where so much could be decided in the race to London. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and chat with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.